Hello and welcome. First and foremost, we want to thank you for volunteering here at TWS. This place wouldn't be possible without support from people like you. So before we put you to work, we must first go over all of our safety rules. Remember folks, you'll be working with tigers and lions, so human safety is our number one priority. So before we start volunteering here at TWS, you must first learn our safety acronym, LION. L, stay at least 10 feet away from all habitat walls and no leaning over fences. I, stay in pairs at all times. O, observe your health. It can get really hot, especially while you're doing hard work. So it's important to make sure that you eat beforehand, take breaks if needed, and of course drink water. And last but not least, N, no contact with any wildcat residents. We are a no-contact sanctuary for the safety of both our humans and our animals. Now that you understand lion, let's go over a few other general rules. Keep your voices at a conversation level. Yelling would frighten the cats and we certainly don't want that. So keep your voices down, unless of course it's an emergency. And of course, always be aware of your surroundings. These are living animals that you are working near. Their body language can tell you a lot about what they are feeling. If you see a pacing cat, a cat with its ears down, or a cat in pounce mode, walk away. They will tell you if they feel uncomfortable, so it's important that we respect that. Smokers. If you need to smoke, please do so outside the property line or in your car. The smoke is not good for our animals and neither are the cigarette buds. So please do not throw them on the ground and instead keep them in your car or throw them away accordingly. This also goes for trash. We don't need any trash getting into the habitats and putting our cats at risk. Now let's talk about what to do if you get injured on the job. The first step is to take care of your injury, whether that be cleaning it, putting ice on it, or seeking any other necessary medical attention. We have multiple first aid kits on site and our caretakers are all first aid trained and certified. The next step after your injury has been cared for is to report it. It is important that we keep track of all injuries no matter how small. Lastly, here are a few photo guidelines to follow before we send you on your way. We ask that you please leave your camera in your car or the ACC. If you do decide to take photos of our cats using a phone or camera during a tour or at any other point, it is important that you represent their lives truthfully and respectfully. Do not take photos of cats in their shift yards or their lockouts. Only photograph them while they are in their free roaming habitats. Do not lean over the fence to take a photo. And most importantly, do not take photos of the witness protection cats. It's important to focus on your work so it would be best if you kept photo taking to a minimum. You don't want to be distracted for your own safety and for the safety of the cats. Accidents are more likely to happen if you are not completely focused. Now let's recap what we learned today. Lion, stay at least 10 feet away from habitat walls, stay in pairs, observe your health, and have no contact with the cats. Adapt your behavior around the cats accordingly and always be aware of your surroundings. Watch your trash. Seek first aid for any injury and make sure to report it. And follow the photography guidelines. And now it's time to send you off to work. We hope that you learned something from this video and that you have a great time. Thank you so much for deciding to volunteer at TWS. We couldn't do it without you. Do you want to help the cats even more? Well, consider joining our sponsorship program or give a donation by visiting our website at wildcatsanctuary.org or stop by our gift shop in the Animal Care Center.